But let me make a, a larger point about bipartisanship when it comes to foreign policy and defense issues. Um, earlier this year, what started off as a partisan exercise in the Foreign Relations Committee became a unanimous statement on behalf of Democrats and Republicans under the leadership of Senator Corker to say to the President of the United States and eventually get him to agree that members of the Congress should look at any agreement that, that uh, is made with the regime in Iran. Uh, I applaud this kind of, uh, of bipartisan accomplishment. Now, we saw the same thing at the beginning of the negotiations in the uh, Armed Services Committee. It be, it, we began the week with every Democrat on the committee opposed and every Republican in favor. As Senator McConnell worked through the process, opening up the process, working with Democrats and explaining that we are indeed um, authorizing national defense at the President's requested level. We were able to end the week on a bipartisan note. Only four members voted against the bill in committee. Eight Democrats voted yes, 14 Republicans voted yes. An overwhelming bipartisan statement of support for the President's number, but also for our troops and for national security. I'm confident that we're going to have the same sort of bipartisan, there's no reason for us not to have the same sort of bipartisan support on the floor of the Senate this week for the National Defense Authorization Act that we had out of committee. And again, I think we'll be uh, doing what the American people expect us to do on the foreign policy and national defense uh, uh, issues, putting partisanship uh, aside and moving forward as Americans in a bipartisan fashion. Thank you.